bring you greeting in the name that is above every other name. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My name is Brother Chukwemeka. The Lord has led in my heart to present this powerful message titled, Love, the Greatest Commandment. My dear audience, the love is the greatest commandment. The scripture has made us understand, you shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. That is the number one commandment, and is the greatest commandment, to love God with all your heart. That's number one commandment. Number two commandment, love thy neighbor as thyself. The way you love yourself, love your neighbor just like that. Do not remove anything. Do not subtract and do not add. The way you love yourself, love your fellow brethren. I want to read this scripture to you. John chapter 15 verse 13 verse 12. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, for you do whatever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servant, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord does. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father have men known unto thee. You see, law is the greatest commandment. As a child of God, we are the light of the world. We have to show example. Wherever we go, in the place where we are living, in the, our community, in our society, and in our nation generally. We have to show example as believers. We have to love our fellow human beings as ourselves. Then we have to love God. That one is number one commandment. You have to love God. That is the greatest commandment. If you want to succeed in life, if you want to go by the rapture, if you want Jesus Christ to be your best friend, you have to love him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your spirit. This is the greatest commandment. This is the greatest commandment, to love God. My question as I'm making this video right now, do you love God? Do you love your fellow brethren? You have to love God through praise and worship, through respect, through acknowledging His supremacy, through acknowledging who He is, that He is the creator of heaven and earth. You have to love Him because He is so great to be loved. You have to love him and tremble at his word. The Bible says, walk out your salvation with fears and trembling. When you love God, you walk out your salvation. You walk out your salvation with fears and trembling. That is love. That is love. That is love. Then you love your neighbor as you are safe. You care for your neighbor. If you are in a place whereby your fellow neighbor has no job, and you are in a position to find a job for him, you help him to get a job as a Christian. If you are in a place whereby your fellow neighbor don't have food, and you have food in abundance, you give him. You love by giving. Many Christians don't give. They don't give. They have what is called super glue hand. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Look at Cornelius as an example. A Gentile. This king loved God. He adored God. He worshipped God. He also a giver. He gave to friends. He gave his neighbors. He gave his community. Then angel of the Lord appeared to you. He said, Cornelius. Because you are a generous man. You are a giver. The Lord has visited your house. Therefore, sends people to Joppa to find Peter. Peter will bring the good news into your house today. Because this man is a giver. A Gentile. He adores God. He loves God. He's a giver. He give him become what is called remembrance in the sight of God and his holy angels. And God grant 
his heart desire. God granted his prayer and supplications by bringing Apostle Peter into the house of a Gentiles. The first Gentiles to receive the gospel is Cornelius because he loved God. That's number one. Number two, he's a giver. You need to learn how to give as a child of God. Give for the expansion of the kingdom of the gospel. Give for the expansions of the kingdom of God here on earth. Support the ministry that's involved in global evangelization. Support them. Then you give to help the poor. If you are in a community whereby you see a lot of people, homeless people, help them through your giving. Shelter them. If you are in position to help, help as a child of God. You give in, expan in expansion of God's kingdom on earth. You give to help for the homeless people, those that have no hope. You clothe them. You shelter them. Love is the greatest commandment say the Spirit of God. Love is the greatest commandment. If you want God to help you, if you want God to help you to succeed in life, to excel and to go by the rapture, you have to love God. That's number one commandment. It's the greatest commandment. Then you have to love your fellow neighbor as thyself. Love! Show example. You are the light of the world. Love! Through giving. Love! Through caring, love. That is why I'm presenting this powerful message today. Love, the greatest commandment. If you want God to love you, if you want to be a friend of God, just like Abraham, David, Solomon, if you want God to love you, you need to love Him. You need to love Him. You need to love him through worship. You need to love him through praise. You need to love him through trembling at his word. Walk out your salvation with fears and trembling. Then you need to love him through giving. Give, it shall be given unto thee. Love him through giving. Look at Cornelius, the first Gentiles to receive the gospel. Because he loved God. He's also a giver. His giving become memorial. In the sight of God and his holy angels. God remember his giving. The angels of God remember his giving. And Cornelius found favor in the sight of God. He received the Holy Ghost in abundance. Not only him alone. As a result of his giving. All his household were saved. All Cornelius household. The wife, the children. All his family members were saved. Because he's a great giver. He loved God. He loved God. Love is the greatest commandment. This message will empower you to love God with your heart. In Jesus' powerful name I pray. Amen. Amen.